Apparently they can. They're upset about it. The uh, do you pay attention when you're on a plane and they uh, they do the stuff, the pre-flight uh, announcements? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, you're yeah, so, you're so full of it. No, I do. I pay attention every single time. If something has been updated or something has changed, and there's a new exit row that I need to pay attention to, I always like to make sure do that you I'm watching. You are the biggest milk toast. No, what well, you know what? Guess how many times I've had bad incidents on planes? Never, because I pay attention. Thank you very much. I care about it. Okay. Do you do you not pay attention to those uh, flight attendant demonstrations? I let them know ahead of time that I'm not going to be paying attention. Guess how much they do they do they seem to care that you let them know? I because I do yeah, yeah, as yeah. a performer. I know they're up there performing, so I'm sort of like, like I'll say to them, hey, you know, I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of skip this one. Not me. No full eye contact. Like okay. deep eye contact. Okay. Too much eye contact. Then possible. I do every time. Okay, then why don't you start the uh, start it for us? How does it start? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention to the front of the aircraft. We have uh, <laughs> yeah, right. You don't we have a message it. for you. Uh, there's we a have a belt. message for you. He <laughs> has a seatbelt. There you go. I can see. Boy, you really, I, you really look at locking yeah, I really, in. I really know. Here's what's happened. United Airlines has spent another, I don't know, two or three million dollars on this thing. To another new safety video. They, cause we want people to really pay attention. Hi, and welcome. We're happy to have you aboard. Yeah. And we appreciate your attention as we get this safety video off and rolling. And they have a little round blue ball that rolls through this thing. It goes up these tubes. It's kind of a Rube Goldberg thing, and it's going in, and then it's a bunch of other stuff. It's like... Oh, play, this, the ball is playing music? Yeah. I like that. FAA yeah. regulations require you to follow the instructions of our crew members and comply with all posted and lighted signs. Please review the safety card located at your seat. Oh, there it is. It's important to have your seatbelt on at all times. To fasten your seatbelt, slide the metal end into the buckle. That's helpful. Tighten by pulling the Tighten. loose end. Um, they say that these are the FAA instructions, and they want people to pay attention, so they're constantly coming up with new fun ways. But the problem is, I read the study, that people, when you are giving them a narrative, like the story, in this case, the ball, they're watching the ball, or they're, they did one with, um, what's that sh movie that was shot with... Uh, uh, Peter Jackson or Jackson. That's the, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. They did all New the Zealand. characters. New Zealand. They shot the whole thing in New Zealand. They had all the characters from there in the plane or on the horse or something. So people are like watching different celebrities show up in the middle of this thing. And they're like, oh, but they weren't paying attention to any of like how to get out of the plane or what, what you're supposed to do with the other stuff. What is your favorite pre-flight demonstration? Which airline do you like the best? I, I have mine. I don't want to spoil it, but you go ahead and no, tell me. No, Josh, well, you have a favorite since yeah. you pay attention. Yeah, Hawaiian Airlines is nice. Have you flown Hawaiian lately? They do a nice thing. It's nice. They say it's, mahalo at the they end. They say mahalo. They uh, send out some, you know, they send out a nice little thing of juice afterwards. It's a nice, you know, it's, it's very sunny. They've got Hawaiian sounds. Also, if you're on a Hawaiian flight, Usually you're heading to Hawaii, so you're just feeling you know good what? about things. It, the whole thing's a crowd of crap, okay? They have to do this because the government makes them do it. But it, you're going to die in the plane. That's not true. You're fla Yes, you are. No, you're if I'm buckled up and I know where the exits okay, are, you know I'm going to be fine. Okay, then they'll let all the morons off first. Here's what's going to happen. This guy explains exactly what happens with the plane. You're Please don't. I hate flying. Please don't do this. Please don't. So thank you for choosing to fly with United. Where's that? Where's that video? Do we have the video of the honest pre-flight safety? Where oh, there we go. Ah, uh, this is go. now. This guy explains the real deal here for you. He, this is what the flight stuff should say. Here's the big thing to remember: if we crash or make an emergency landing, statistically speaking, 95% of you will survive. Oh, that's good. If it's a serious right. crash, 55% of you will survive. That's great. Right. So if this plane is going down, concentrate. By the way, you're a real optimist. You're assuming that you're in the Super Bowl. Well, well, of course I'm in the 55%. Well, he said 95% if it's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, 95%. Okay, here we go. Because your life may depend on some smart decisions. Keep in mind that 80% of... This is this guy said, this is the way to, they should do the pre-flight. This, this is, is what a, they, no. not, they don't draw the cute stuff, everything else. A horrible Just, idea. This is how you do it. Accidents happen within the first three minutes and last eight minutes of the flight. So that's when it would be wise to keep your shoes on and put your laptops away and stay focused. Can you the pause it real fast? seats on mm -hmm. this plane. Are Is yeah. that why they tell people to put your electronics away when you're taking off? Because I never understood that. Like, why, why, why for the first two minutes of the flight do I need to put my electronics away? Apparently so. And for the middle of the whole middle of the flight, it's To go back out again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because they assume that the worst, that if I have to make a quick exit from the plane, you don't first want your tray minutes, table down. For last eight minutes. That yep. Makes there sense. You go. Now you see, that's better than somebody standing up there handing out drinks. The ones facing backward. Oh, uh, wait, wait, like hold the on. The ones that fly your shoes on and put your laptops away and stay focused. Keep your shoes on. The safest seats on this plane are the ones facing backward, like what? the ones the flight crew are seated in. Yeah. Is that why the they sit? Yeah. That's why they sit backwards, because it's safer. Yeah. Because we want to keep them alive. The seats are over the wings, closest to the... Seats, the uh, seats are over the wings are the closest and safest. Are the safest. Yep. Emergency yeah. exit. If you're not in one of those right now, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, and then finally <laughs> does this. The, now, if in the event that the... You got to get an oxygen mask. If we lose cabin pressure at a fairly low altitude, no big deal. You can breathe just fine. If we lose cabin pressure at cruising altitude, you can't. If that happens, here's what I'm required to do. I'm going to push the nose of the plane into an emergency descent. That's going to feel like a roller coaster drop, and it's going to scare the <laughs> but it's not dangerous. I've practiced. Also, by law, I need to notify air traffic control as well as the airline. And I need to do all of that before I can get on the microphone and tell you what the is going on. Uh -oh. So don't be surprised if you don't hear from me for a bit. I'm just doing my job, and you're going to be fine. For those of you who didn't manage to get your masks on in time, you'll probably pass out and then wake up in a minute or two when I get the plane to a lower altitude. See? This, so he, th this, is, a, this is good information. And I, people would listen to this. But I would be petrified. If I'm about to take off and I'm watching this, it's just making me feel... Because I, I already have a routine when I get on a plane because I don't like to fly. One, I pay attention really close one in 11 million chance you'd be killed in a plane accident is that true yeah or are you gonna better strands better uh chance you're being struck by lightning you want to know what the biggest danger is that you won't get your frequent flyer points for this flight just kidding now the biggest <laughs> danger is actually that your luggage or those duty-free bottles you purchased and put in the overhead compartment will fall out when you open it and hit someone on the head there are actually several thousand reported injuries from this every year in the U.S. alone. Huh? By contrast, the FAA only reports 58 or so serious injuries from turbulence. Aye. So one could easily make the case that we should be handing out a helmet and skip the seatbelts. There you go. Do you, do you, uh, are you a good flyer? I fly 120,000 miles a year. So you're a good flyer? No, I was a good flyer. As somebody who enjoys being on a plane, doesn't, it doesn't stress them out? Does this stress you out or are you fine? <laughs> I get stressed out. You you don't get stressed out on a plane. No. Okay. Why you just right. get on the plane? Really? I don't know. It's honestly, just like you're, yeah, honestly, you're 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 locked in a you thing. You're the biggest P I think I've ever met. That's not true. You've got to oh, met somebody. I will a bigger pay attention to the to the flight. And the, I get stressed out on the plane. I like well, no, looking I, at old women in bathing suits. What is wrong with you? Well, no, no, no. I didn't say that. I no, I, you did. Well, you like looking at old women in bathing suits. You get all nervous being on a plane. You pay attention to the flight attendant, and you you take notes. Listen, here's the thing. Back to the bathing suit thing for one second. Martha Stewart, last year, 81. Not bad for 81. Uh, Gail King, 69. Oh, no, no, no. We don't even add the 81 in there. The don't place. say not bad for 81, just not bad. Why do you have to put that in? Why do you have to put the... Because she's 81 years preface old. Preface it with 81. You're side by side with somebody who's half her age. Obviously, there's going to be a difference. Oh, now all of a sudden you're an ageist. No, I'm celebrating her age. But the, back to the planes for a okay. second. I, you know, I just, I, I probably don't fly as much as you do, so I'm not used to the experience. If I flew more, then I probably would get more used to it. But I like to, you know, I, I have little things I like to do when I get on the plane, just to put me in kind of a zen state, okay. make me comfortable. And so I have to do those things. I was interested if you have to do any of those things. I sit and I just, I have, uh, I have very few luxuries in my life, so I sit 1A. Which is first class. Every single time. And yeah. even Nicole calls up and she's booking my flights. She says, you know what the cost is between here and Oakland or That's San Francisco? You, very few luxuries. Now, I've seen your place. It's very nice. You have what? nice cars, very expensive life. But 1A makes sense. I would assume you fly 1A. Because I don't want to have to wait. Yeah, no, I get it. When I get off the plane, when the plane lands at 315 in JFK, and I looked at the clock at 315, I want to get off at 315, and I'm going to wait 25 minutes because I haven't been able to do that thing that Foster Wallace tells everybody to do, to just, like, imagine everyone else having this amazing life, ah, sitting back there. I, I can't do it. it. I can't, so I just got to get off the plane. Here's a question for you real fast. Uh, do you find yourself drinking on planes? No, I don't drink on planes. You don't drink on planes. Okay. Because you get a wicked headache. No, the reason people have a problem on planes is because people like you coming on with all three of your kids. If you fly with your kids, they would look at you as they would rather see somebody coming with a box of acne dynamite <laughs> lit. <laughs>
That's probably true. Yeah. People walking with and kids. It's safe. like, oh, and, my God, there's a baby. And they'd be safer. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, baby on board. So, listen, the fact that United has spending more money and they're going to waste more time because people are not going to pay attention. You talk to flight attendants about it. They know that people don't listen. They know that people are looking at their phones. So there's nothing they can do, and they've given up on yelling at people about it. So they just simply just go through the motions. Find Dandy. Get back. 